Hey, that's our big exclusive focus tonight as the political heat is intensified by the BJP, not just in the case of the Augusta Westland deal, but also charges being made against Karthi Chidambaram, son of former Finance Minister P. Chidambaram, alleging uh, Karthi Chidambaram and his firms of being part of dubious transactions. Now, this is something which has been in the news now for a while and uh, NDTV has accessed an exclusive ED report, an enforcement directorate report, which looks a little closely at those transactions and raises certain questions about them. Now, just to run you through the sequence of what exactly uh, it is that we're talking about here, that a firm called Advantage Consultancy, which is linked to Karthi Chidambaram, a firm in which he was uh, briefly the indirect owner between 2010 and 2012. Uh, in 2008, Advantage Consulting bought Vasan iCare shares for 100 rupees per share. Now, in 2010, it managed to sell those same shares to one of India's biggest venture capital firms, Sequoia Capital, for 7,500 rupees a share. So, a 100 rupee share in two years becomes valued at 7,500 rupees share. This transaction happens in the same year that Karthi Chidambaram is the indirect owner of this company. And across two separate transactions, roughly 32 crores in profit is made uh, by this particular firm. Now, the Enforcement Directorate, now all of this has been in the public domain, but the Enforcement Directorate has looked very closely at this transaction. They've questioned uh, the top officials of Sequoia Capital and uh, have found that Sequoia's own internal report says that the share was only worth 110 rupees, not 7,500 rupees. So its own chartered accountant contradicting the final price at which the shares were bought. And uh, in fact, uh, they claim, according to this report, that the Sequoia Capital said that no valuation was done of this particular uh, firm of Vasan iCare uh, before these shares were purchased. Subsequently, the profit from this overvalued uh, share sale of purchase of shares was remitted to Advantage Singapore, a subsidiary of Advantage India. And the Singapore firm, according to the ED, went on a global shopping spree, picking up uh, farmland in the UK, vineyards in South Africa, flats in Malaysia, and so on. Some of these are transactions concluded, some are ongoing. The ED says that they've sent a letter or a, a letter asking for information from the Singapore government of uh, details of this particular company, Advantage Singapore, and also sent letters to 16 other countries in connection with Advantage transactions, which include South Africa, UK, France, and so on. Now, Karthi Chidamram has taken the view that this company has nothing to do with them. He has no financial links or dealings uh, with this particular company. But uh, the Enforcement uh, Directorate is probing closely for wills. Now, these wills uh, were executed by the current owners of uh, Advantage Consulting, and NDTV has uh, those wills in its possession. I'm going to hold them up uh, to the camera now. And in these wills, this is just one of the wills made by Ravi Vishwanathan, who's one of the owners of Advantage Consulting. He's left all the shares of Advantage Consulting to Karthi Chidambaram's daughter. All his other assets he's left to others, but uh, you can see the yellow part, the operative part where he's left it to Karthi Chidambaram's daughter. Now, all these four wills are actually identically worded, and they were registered, or rather they were dated on the same day, June 19, 2013 in Chennai. They follow the same language, and all four have made Karthi Chidambaram the sole executor of the will. Now, Karthi Chidambaram, sources close to him, have told NDTV that, in fact, Advantage Consulting is a firm that has declared all its assets, that Sequoia Capital has done a valuation based on their assessment of Vasan iCare. It's one of India's largest VCs, so it's been that it's a fair assessment that they've done, and it's wrong to say that this was an overvalued share transaction. They also say that wills are in the private domain and that their consent contents should not be made public. And also accept that, yes, those who are purportedly uh, the will makers are close friends of Karthi Chidambaram, but that in itself doesn't construe any illegality. But the question remains as to what is this firm, Advantage Consulting, that managed to generate just over a set of a few transactions so many crores of rupees? What is the work it does and what are its bona fides? My colleague Ashwarya Ayer actually was in Chennai, went to the office of Advantage Consulting, and this is what she found. We are right outside Advantage Strategic Private Limited Office, which is located in Nandanam Extension in Chennai. We've been inside the office. It's fairly small. It just has two rooms. And not a single employee has come into the office since 2 in the afternoon. 
This is a company that has subsidiaries in Singapore and Spain and has pumped in crores into these companies over the years. Hello. Hi, Mr. Ravi. Uh, yeah. Here to pay Aishwarya. We essentially um, wanted to talk about uh, the bill that was made in 2013 on 19th of June. So we wanted to ask you a few questions about that. Are you willing to answer? Mm -hmm. Just very I basic questions. I'm not giving uh, any opinions. Nothing, Nothing to say at all? Say. Are you absolutely sure? Because... Absolutely, yes. Uh, may I speak to the owner of the house? No. Because it says CBN ready on the nameplate as well. It's not here. I'm sorry? It's not here, Mother. Okay, so the Office of Advantage Consulting, a firm which uh, technically owns crores of assets, uh, perhaps overseas, perhaps in India, is closed at, in the afternoon. There is nobody there raising questions about its provenance. And of course, what does this mean as to the wider political charge that the BJP has brought against the Congress and, uh, and against uh, these particular transactions of firms linked to Karthi Chidambaram? Uh, joining me is Kirit Somaya, senior BJP leader, Lok Sabha MP, who's been leading that charge in Parliament. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us in our studios here. Tom Varakan, spokesperson of the Congress. Also, Prashant Bhushan, senior advocate in the Supreme Court, uh, who's in court on the entire black money issue, and Aarti Jairat, senior journalist, joining me. Uh, Kirit Somaya, now uh, you saw there our exclusive news break with these details that the ED has found about this company, Advantage uh, Consulting. Uh, sources close to Karthi Chidambaram say, look, this is how the valuation game works, that uh, if a VC finds that a firm is worth 7,500 crores, even though just two years ago it may be in 110 crores, uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with that, there's nothing illegal with that. Uh, how would you react to this, sir? The first of all, we will have to go in much detail. Yes. Whose money it is. Okay. I am not keeping myself limited only to Karthi Chidambaram. Please. Okay. Whose money it is? Is it his family's money? Why all these things? If Karthi is a business person, let that be transparency. Mm. Why this abnormality of wills, abnormal valuation, and dozens of companies, shell companies. Yes. He can have a good company here, and with that empire, he can become behave like a business person. Nothing yes. wrong. But abusing the tax haven to bypass the regulatory system to protect the non-transparency. Mm. Is it scam money? Is it the money he has earned, or sorry, his family has earned through the power that I want to know? Last adivation, yes. you know, in March, I had raised this issue in Lok yes. Sabha. Yes. I had raised several questions and details of several companies. Yes. Now, once again, I have asked permission of Honorable Speaker that I want to go further what the income tax ED has found out, what are the wheels. Each you're saying, you're saying, saying you, want to, you want to widen the ambit beyond just this particular company and beyond Karthi Chidambaram. You're asking, where is this money coming from? You're indirectly targeting P. Chidambaram. This is, this is the crux of what you're, what you're trying to say here. Let me then uh, allow Tom Varakan in to, to respond to that, uh, Tom Varakan, that the Enforcement Directorate, uh, Mr. Varakan, as you saw, is finding something very questionable about these transactions which have allowed this firm linked to Karthi Chidambaram to make a windfall uh, profit. The BJP is saying, where is this money coming from? And what do these transactions imply? Is there something more to it? Is it just a case of a, a natural case of a normal case of overvaluation? Or is there something more dubious? Tom Varakan. Well, as to the question, the pol it's a political question. These are seasons of uh, character assassinations that have been going on from top, from Chidambaram ji to Ahmed Bhai. And this is standard time. This is election time and they're doing it. They have realized politically they are over. Two years, an electorally defeated 
BJP yes. is now into a conspiracy th theory trying to target our leaders. The sun is not the target. Now, the larger but question Mr. Kripsomaya is asking, no, where is this money coming from? I ask you questions on the Panama Papers. Where, what is the fair and lovely treatment you're giving them? No, you're they, deflecting. I mean, you're, de you're, you're deflecting, Mr. Wadakan, because here's a question. I'm the, charging them of the defamation. No, no, let, let's, defamation. If you look at the facts here, Mr. Wadakan, we've got a situation where there's a company that virtually has an office which is closed this afternoon. Now, this company gets these shares allotted to it at an absolute bargain at 100 rupees. Two years later, they sell it for 7,500 rupees a share in the exact year that Karthi Chidambaram becomes the owner. Surely, there must be something about this entire comp about this particular timing in this company that has led this, uh, uh, for it to be given this windfall. I mean, isn't this... A in, questionable in this, transaction. In this, in this business, doesn't this suggest falls? that there's more to it than meets the eye? Well, there can be more that, that meets the eye. That is an argument you're saying. But this windfall issue, which is which often happens in the market in the same bu uh, business, it's nothing extraordinary. We ask the same questions to the Rajasthan CM. At that point of time, we questioned it. But no answers came in. Mr. Krip Samaya is totally silent on those issues. How that company but happened... I'm talking about the Rajasthan Chief Minister who's currently no, but a again, member of Parliament. Again, that's, I, I, I'm, I'm not, sure not how that, that is But the point I'm trying to make how, how is, is that this has a political agenda. The agenda is damage the Congress party because you can't face them electorally. Chidambaram ji is being targeted not only on this. As a Home Minister, there were allegations made against him. Okay, we can go on with this BJP uh, versus Congress uh, uh, all night. Let's bring in Prashant Bhushan here. Prashant, uh, when you see... Uh, these sorts of transactions and then you see the attempts being made by uh, Karthi Chidambaram, Mr. Chidambaram himself to distance himself from this company but then you also have these wills uh, which indicate that perhaps that distance is not as much as is being made out. What, what do you make of it? Well, it's uh, as crystal clear as daylight to me that number one Mr. Karthi Chidambaram is the Benami owner of Advantage Consulting. This is obvious from the fact that uh, four persons who own the shares now have executed identical wills in the name of his daughter and those wills only mention the shares in Advantage Consulting to be willed to his daughter, uh, etc. So it's obvious that he is the Benami owner of Advantage Consulting. Yes. Now, Advantage Consulting uh, makes this windfall gain of more than 20 crores, 22 crores and odd, yes. through the transaction in Vasan Eye Care. Yes. It buys shares of Vasan Eye Care for 100 rupees and sells them within a very short time yeah. to Sequoia, this venture capital firm, for 7,500 rupees each, making yes. a windfall gain of more than 20 crores. Yeah. Uh, that means selling them at 75 times. There is no eye care company in India or in the world whose shares have gone up by 75 times in, in one or two years like that's this. That's true. So Secondly, a, the, uh, the... And the, that's in fact... The, uh, the, uh, and that's in fact what just Sequoia's minute, own internal minute. audit has found that these shares were actually valued at 110 rupees and then why was it sold at 7,500 crore rupees? Arti Jairat, is this a putting the Congress... Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I just want to come just, back just to Just one you. second, just yes, one ahead. second, Srinivasan. Go ahead, Prashant. Just one second, Srinivasan. Yeah. The third issue is when such a windfall comes, when, when a company like Venture uh, Sequoia yes. buys shares... Uh, at this hi highly overvalued rate, which means that it is handing over a gift of about 20 plus crores yeah. to uh, Advantage Consulting, why would it do that? Right. It would do that if Mr. Karthi Chidambaram's illegal money, laundered money is parked with that uh, venture capital firm, yes. with Sequoia, or it would do it if Sequoia were being given some benefit by Mr. Chidambaram, who was the finance okay, minister I, at, at that point, time. Okay, at this point, I must just say, uh, in its I, business, okay, I must just say that we did send a detailed set of questions to Sequoia Capital as of tonight. We've still not got a response from them. But Arti Jarat, uh, is this? I mean, the Congress would like to bring in other examples, like talking about fair and lovely and talking about Vasundra Raji. But is this increasingly cornering them? On one hand, you have Augusta, and then you have all these revelations coming out about these Karthi-linked firms. Well, you know, um, 
there is no question about it that uh, you know the Congress is on the defensive. Yes. And I think this particular case involving Chidambaram's son, yes. you know, the, the whole thing looks pretty fishy to me. And uh, you know, it, it, it needs a thorough investigation. And you know, it's, I, it's all very well for the uh, you know, Congress to say political vendetta and so on and so forth. But the fact is that there are a lot of questions and I think Prashant Bhushan has listed them out very clearly, yeah. what the questions are. Yes. And those questions need to be answered by Karti Chidambaram. And I mean, you know, it's also all very fishy that it happened in the, at the time when his father was finance minister.